Here we are in the Black Lamb Bar in Sunnyside again, and we're just after having a huge thunderstorm. You never guess who actually came down in that shower. Only John Duddy, the middleweight. Oh, grand applause! John Duddy, middleweight boxing champion and winner of 26 out of his 27 fights. John, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Yeah, you've got uh, fans nice to be here. here. <laughs> so, my first question. Most kids I know, young boys, they play soccer, they play hurling, football, you know, sports that are less dangerous than boxing. So. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say hurling is fucking less dangerous <laughs> than boxing, you know. Okay, well, let me ask. Am I on the square? I'm no, sorry. you're not. That's very I'm very sorry. Why boxing, John? I was very, uh, I was very, uh, first when I grew up, my father was a boxer for a uh, uh, amateur, you know, which takes many, many, many years, and then he was a, a professional for a short time. And uh, I used to go and watch him train in the gym. And, and, then, and then this gym was, was truly national. And the first time I went to the gym, I was five. Yeah, uh, I was I was actually I had my first fight when I was seven. And, 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 in the and, ring. In the ring, yeah. And uh, I oh, won. Another seven-year-old. I won. No, I was very I was very lucky. I won this fight, and uh, actually uh, I stopped again in the first round, and he was twelve, but we were the same size, so we were. So that's that's how they used to do it back then, you know. Oh, just through you, no. But it was all big gloves and all, and head guards and. Well, I had boots coming up to my knees and shorts going down to my ankles and the vest had to be cellar tip, you know, right, right around my back and whatnot. But uh, from that moment then, I, I remember the next day, my, my father, he, he never took me back to the gym, you know, he never and I was always curious, why not? And uh, he, uh, I tried all other sports. I, I tried, you know, I tried soccer, I tried football, I tried hurling, I tried everything, running, cycling, swimming, you name it, and for some reason I, I was always just boxing came easy to me. And uh, when I was ten, when my dad asked me, "Do you want to go back to the club?" And all, I was like, oh, "Of course." You know, and I, I've been doing it ever since. And I've been very for. I think I've been very lucky. So then, when did you actually turn professional? I turned professional about. I'd say it was uh, October '03, so it was, and. Uh, uh, now, did you box at home first and then come out to the stage? I wasn't professional at home. I, I was at home. When I, when I boxed at home, I was an amateur for about 14 years. And I uh, boxed with Ireland. And I was fortunate enough to, to travel around and, and see the world. And I was in Cuba and Russia and all, all around Europe and places like that there. And, uh, but unfortunately, that didn't pay the bills at the time. But even as a kid, my, like my idols was uh, Barry McGuigan. Mm -hmm. I remember Barry. And, and my, my father was a spar partner of Barry McGuigan's when Barry first started. Um, you know, whenever, like, a funny story was about when I was younger, I didn't eat vegetables. I didn't eat them. I didn't like them. Uh, you know, typi food. Typical Wayne, you know? Yep. And uh, I remember uh, my mommy was just sick, sick to the teeth, like, gone, eat, eat, yep, eat, 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 eat. I mean, I said, son, do you know Barry? Barry my wife? I said, Barry, Barry. How do you think Barry became more champion? He had his face. I, I, eat, I eat everything since that moment, to be honest with you. And, and uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's class, because I must have been about five or six yeah, when that happened to me. Like, uh, it's amazing what, you know, idols can do in terms mm. of influencing people. But tell me, you actually boxed in Madison Square Gardens? I've, I've, been, I've been lucky enough to box there eight times, and, and uh, my last fight there on uh, February. This February? February this year, yeah. uh, in uh, the, the, the locals were all calling it my uh, welcome home. What do you mean the locals? I said, Americans, yeah. New Yorkers, were all calling, oh, Dolly's back home again. And I'm going, isn't this amazing? How you, I'm born in Ireland, and Madison Square Gardens call me, no, their house. I said, that's... They're their adopted son now. Yes. Right. And, uh, I've always, I've had that experience the first time I came here. Uh, I mean, like, uh, people used to ask me, why do so many people come to your fights? I, 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 I was born in Ireland. 
So you have a really I'm, I'm Irish, like, I'm not the, I'm, I'm the best about the Irish people, the Irish community, the Irish nation that's all over the world is that whenever they see one of their own, not, maybe, maybe not even doing good, but trying to do something, yeah. I mean, they, they come out and there are numbers, just they say, yes, we're, we're right behind you. 